Hi guys, it's uh, Ken from Miniature Wargaming Warriors again. Um, just giving you a video like I promised. Um, US Infantry uh, painting them up in contrast. So this is um, hopefully going to make the army quite quick. You had the uh, Catachan video yesterday and um, I said in the comments, um, someone asked I'd like to see this with bolt action. So here's a US Infantryman and let's paint them in contrast. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to paint um, flesh. I'm going to use Gillum flesh for that. So on this model, we've got his face and his hands. Um, obviously, again, I'm using this painting handle, which I can't stand. But for you guys, I will sacrifice speed. And if you guys are liking this and want to see like um, different uh, factions painted up with this contrast, uh, like British and stuff like that, Russians maybe, Liam's got loads of Russians, <laughs> um, just to see what they're like, just a little painting guide, no worries. Remember with the contrast paints, any major errors we can just... Um, Go back over with uh, Wraith Bone, what we've primed with. So. Right. There is one point in this where I'm going to have to let the model dry, and that's when I do the rifle for the metal. Um, I paint the whole rifle snake bite leather. And then once it's dry, I'll come back in with um, Space Walls Grey. Seen in another video on YouTube that really gives it uh, good effects. So that'd be the flesh done. Happy days. Um, next thing I do is jacket and that's going to be in Agros group um, dunes It's like a sort of dirty brown colour when it dries. Looks pretty cool, I think. <laughs> yeah, just so you guys know where I got the ideas to paint them like this, there's a there's a guide online. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. It's on wargaming3d.com. Someone's done a guide of how they've painted stuff up. But I thought it'd be quite cool to actually show a video of actually doing it because it's all well and good seeing um, a guide like this well just seeing a guide but actually seeing paint someone painting it it's a different kettle of fish altogether so I'm trying to avoid the webbing obviously with the painting handle which I hate <laughs> I have to sit so far away. Oh, I can't stand painting handles. You should say what you guys think of painting handles in the comments. But they are not for me. We are getting there. Just around the back of his arm here. Yep. Just want to get, make sure we get into the recess there for his jacket. 
uh, yeah, recess is good there because that's going to become belt, but under, underneath the webbing, just here. You only need a tiny bit on the brush. Like so, there's a tiny bit in his arm there. I think I've got most of it. If I've missed any, I can always go back and touch it up. But that looks like it's the jacket done. Right, okay, so this is where I'm gonna differ from the guy slightly. It says to use Minestrel and Green uh, for the for the pants and the helmet, but I'm going to use it just for the pants and I'm going to do the helmet in um, Creed camo because I think the helmet should be a little bit darker um, But again your mileage may vary you might choose to do it a different way um, Let's uh, Get that on the brush I had my first contrast accident yesterday. Spilt some of this Ministorum green all over. Like splodge like here. <laughs> Knocked it over with my hand. Luckily I had a syringe. Literally. Like um one of these. And I managed to soak a load of it up. And uh, get it back in the contrast pot. I still lost quite some though so i really like to only have one bottle open at a time like washes oh ain't they great uh, right i love painting trousers <laughs> so much easier because there's never anything really in the way of them but you can see why the contrast paint is so good for like all these little recesses here, they're so great for these small models because they make everything pop. Just, oh, they are good for like individual models. I can see why people moan about them on a flat panel because even I've had that problem with like trying to paint a Redemptor Dreadnought with contrast. It does not work very well at all. There's probably a technique to it, but you know, no one's really helped out and said because I can't work it out I'll tell you what though if I could get away with it I would paint I think yeah I think I would I think I'd switch to contrast as my main paint because you just get I don't know why I just feel more satisfied when I see the results I don't do a lot of edge highlighting as it is but I don't know I don't know what do you guys think so that looks like the pants are done. Yep, so the pants are done. All right, helmet. Helmet, helmet. Uh, it's helmet straps I'm gonna do in uh, snake by leather in a minute, but helmet itself. Creed camo on there. See what that looks like when it's dry. I don't think that'll look too bad. I could always, even if I want to darken it up a bit more, go over with a second coat in a bit. Tell you what, let's just put a bit more on there so it dries a little bit darker. There we go. All right. Just underneath the helmet here. There's the helmet. did just notice a little bit of Gilman flash mission off the top there by his eyebrows so if I just come back in another great thing about contrast 
Right, so the phone did its uh, usual and just uh, turned off about letting me know. So I didn't get too much further ahead. I just finished putting that Gilliman flesh on. Um, but I've started the skeleton horde on all the webbing straps, all the bits around his boots. I'm going to be doing all this here as well. Um, straps for his uh, chin strap and his rifle uh, sling. That's all going to be done in skeleton horde. So I'm just in the middle of uh, painting all that now. Also did the bit for his uh, entrenching tool there. Um, I'm just going to try and be mindful to leave the top of the water bottle um, exposed there because I'm going to paint that in like a metally sort of colour. Um, so I'm not too sure if these are actually completely in a leather pouch. I think they were. Um, but I'm just going to leave that like that. So webbing and it. It's a subtle difference, but you notice it. Turn it around there. That's why I don't like the paint handle because I've got to really get in close. Looking pretty good there and there. So, other side just here, rifle chin strap. Just in there. Yep, that's looking pretty good. And then these bits on his boots as well. I think they're called putties. Um, just around here. So I've noticed straight away, I've missed a load of Ministorum green underneath that leg. So I'll go back in a minute. And, um, go over that with some green in a minute after we finish with this colour. Oh yes, I've missed quite a lot of green. See that under there? See that under his leg there? There's quite a bit there. <sighs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> but it happens. Um, I feel like I've got a bit of snake white leather over that, but I'm not too fast. Just get a get a dry brush. Let's dry and just get a little wipe like that because I'm going to come in with um, snake bite leather over this skeleton horde anyway and it's darker so it uh, tends to uh, sort it out all right so that's them looking good all right so that's the skeleton horde i'm just going to quickly two seconds it actually takes two seconds just Saw that bit of trouser out because that's gonna really bug me. Just in there. There you go. And that's done now. Just a tiny bit more skeleton hawks I'm not happy with how oh, that is there. 
Yes, now I'm happy with that. Much happier. Okay, so model's coming on quite well. Um, next we're going to go with snake bite leather, which is going to go all over. So just got the rifle webbing strap first to do. You know, some people like to paint all the little details, like the metal rings round on the webbing strap. I'm not too fussed because there's going to be loads of these guys on the table. I'm not really going to notice it. But again, everyone's got their own tastes. If people want to do that, fair play. I just don't. I just don't. Just don't see the point. If I was doing like a display army, then yeah, of course I would. But I'm not. I'm just doing a game, an army that I can. Get on the table and play. So, snake bike lever. So, all over the rifle. Including all the metallic parts, because I'm going to come over with space ball grey over that. And it's meant to leave quite a nice, quite a nice finish. No, no straw, but that's going to start pulling. So I can start taking that paint out of there. So just in the rifle, just in that recess there, I saw a lot of paint pulling up. If I don't want it to pull, I can just take it out, wipe it on the surface, i.e., my arm. <laughs> and then there, crack on with it, say. So. Right there, I'm getting some pulling I don't want because gravity just works like that. Um, and that's the lever there, and just a little bit. Of, it's got to go do the bottom of his boots here. Right, we are 99% done. Just literally, got to let that dry and then go with the Space Wars Grey. So I'll be back in a minute once that's dry. It will seem seconds to you, but it will be probably about half an hour, 40 minutes for me. So I'll speak to you in a minute. Right, it's Ken, I'm back. Um, I've given the stuff time to dry. Uh, the snake bite leather's looking pretty dry now. So just got two more colors to go. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do the metal for the, I'll tell you what actually, just do the um, gargant fur first. This is just for the brown on the, um, on the back here on the entrenching tool. Um, I'm using it, I'm gonna use a different brown because I gathered these, the rifle and the entrenching tool bit of wood wasn't built or chopped down from the same sort of tree. So just to give the model a little bit more variation in color. All right, so that's the entrenching tool done. Nice and straightforward. And Space Wolf Grey, final colour. Right, just gonna literally dab it on the top here of the water bottle just to 
to give it just a little bit of a different different color so there just on top of the water bottle Lovely. now just on the rifle this is where i've got to be a bit detailed try and be a bit gentle i'm just going to go over the metal bits the working parts here little metal sight around the back there let's see how that dries in a minute Alright, so that's those bits. Let's just make sure that that goes around there. I'm not getting too much pulling. It doesn't look like we are, which is alright. Just dampen a bit of that away. That's it. So, yeah. Right, I've put the Space Wolf Grey on there. You can see it, it looks a bit naff at the moment. Um, but again, let's let that dry. Let's see what that looks like as the finished product. If I'm not happy with it, what I'll do next time is instead of getting metal all over, I'll just use the um, basilicum grey around the tips of the rifles instead um, on the metal working parts. But hopefully, according to that guy, it should dry quite nicely. So let's leave it for a little bit and come back and have a look. Right, so I'm back. Why is this heresy I see before me? Why is the, why is the rifle stock changed colour? Why is it a whitey colour? Because I've gone over with Wraith Bone. I hated what it looked like. It just looked really naff. It didn't look like metal at all. It just looked like dirty brown. So I was like, nah. So I'm going to go with what I said. I'm going to try the, uh, the silicon grey over it. it. Wasn't for me. So... Let's go with the Basilica Grey there, just on the edge of the rifle. Just a bit there. And I know this looks really good once it's dry. That's that. A little bit there as well. Sure to get the top there. Happy days. That looks better already. Already starting to look better. All right, okay. So looking at the miniature now, uh, a bit of pool in there, I don't really like that. Let's get rid of that. There we go. So just got a tiny bit to touch up just there, but apart from that, mini should be all good. Just do that now. Take a few seconds. Obviously this has taken me longer than it, it would to paint these normally because I'm obviously I'm filming and um, using this painting handle which I wouldn't normally use. So that's getting them in flesh. So that's done. Done, 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 done. I'm calling it done. So, there we go. That there is US Infantry for bolt action. Just painted with contrast. Woohoo! <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to do some more of these um, because this is going to make painting bolt action a lot quicker for me. Um, so yes, so I said I would bring you some bolt action paint and tutorials, and I have, so I have kept my promise. So yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And again, as always, 
if you uh, want to like, um, please do. You want to subscribe, please do. I've got to say all this sort of stuff because that's what YouTube says. You don't have to if you don't want to, but feel free to if you want to. Thanks, guys. See you again next week.